Hello everyone, hope you're all okay. Right, a few bits today, bits and bobs. Um, something I meant to show you last week. I've been <laughs> sorting out all my words um, from the, you know, the, it's from this company, hgdesigns.co, which I found on Pinterest, the free printable words and I've got loads of sheets of them and I've got I've just got a bit fed up of going to the sheets cutting one out and so I thought and I've been doing this for a couple of weeks now just sitting at night time when I've been whether watching telly or watching YouTube videos cutting them all out and I was going to put well I did I put them in one of my like ephemera folders that I'd made last year but I wasn't really happy with them and I said to Mr Doodle, I mean, I'm so stupid, why don't I think of things? I said to Mr Doodle, oh, I've put them in here, look, he says, well, why don't you use some of those clear pockets you've got? I was like, oh, duh, I don't know, why don't I? Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> oh, so silly, because, I mean, I, I keep my little stamps in these and but I just didn't think about it so that's what I've been doing and I've just got some of these little loom band things I've been putting them in there and this it's it's really made me happy because I'm like yes I'm sorted with those now so I can just get those out and these big folders are absolutely brilliant so that's what I meant to show you. So I've got those in there and then some more in there. And I'm all sorted with my words. I think I saw another folder as well. No, not with those. So, you know, the other day I was doing, showed you the wallpaper journal that I made. Well, this is the one that the torn pieces, oh, excuse me torn pieces journal that I made well this is the original one that I made when I first saw Kylie Koo's video a couple of years ago was it something like that I need to get some more another sample of this textured wallpaper I bet they haven't got it now but it's lovely um, so I'm just going to show I've flipped through this before but Oh, a couple of times I think but I've just done some more bits in it it's got all sorts of different papers in uh, this bit I showed you last week all those when I was sorting some drawers and stuff out I'd, well not drawers my pa painted papers and all that stuff on my shelves I'd come across a little folder with all little drawings paintings and bits and bobs so that I'd forgotten about so I've cut them out and been putting them in and the words came in very handy it's that one and that one well I may as well use them up put them in there <coughs> excuse me I don't know where that piece of washi tape's come from. Somebody sent me that on some happy mail and it's just, I don't know, it just appeared from somewhere. So I thought, well, I'll stick that in there. But thank you to whoever sent me that. It's lovely. It looks like, I think it's homemade washi tape, like masking tape, is it, with gold on? Oh, no, I'm not throwing them away. Be true to you. Oh, that one had got. Uh, um, oh yeah, because they'd all got names on. That was it. And I said, really didn't know, didn't like the names. And then I'd gone round them with a curly, curly line. I really didn't like them. So that's why they've got now got words on them. And I like them better now. <laughs> <coughs> And that one had got no nose, what was it? No nose Hillary or no nose, no nose Nancy, that was it. She's just made that a little flip. Too. 
I need to make more of these like just torn and such like journals because they're a lot of fun. Just keep going. That's what we need to do. We need to just keep going. Come on, man. Love it all. I really cannot stand that picture. But I'm keeping it. I think it reminds me of someone. I say that about quite a few of them, that they remind me of someone, but can't think who. Or even whether it's male or female but anyway come what may and love it and then we got kitty under there because creativity does take courage and that's that so that's that out of the way da, da, da. what else i've got it written down what i wanted to uh, show you well this morning what i've been doing i've been sorting drawers again and then i came across these when I was doing loads of clay pieces last year, <coughs> excuse me, I'd found a packet of the Daz air dry clay that I'd had for years, the terracotta one, and I'd never opened it. So I'd opened it, made some little pieces, but it, it didn't smell so bad now, but it's had a really strong odour to it, and I'd just never done anything with those. Uh, um, so I've just been painting a few of these up this morning with still haven't finished if anybody asks what these are I've shown you these before lots of you'll recognize them I don't think you can get them now uh, they're called style stones and I got them from the craft store outlet at Spalding uh, uh, three four years ago probably a bit more can't remember um, but they were only 50 pence but I've just noticed on the bottom it says designed and distributed by clear snap and that's in the USA so if any of um, you USA people have know of clear snap that's who they're made by but and they're like I don't know, is it resin? Resin. Um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, is it epoxy resin or something? But they're made for... To make, like, jewellery, to colour and make jewellery. I've never done that. I've just used them for... <coughs> um, making impressions in clay. Uh, and I have tried with... Uh, I've done them with hot glue, but I've also tried with the wax. Hmm. Not so good. <laughs> I've got two or three pieces that have got wax in them. I have to, some of them came out, but some of them didn't. Anyway, that's so that's what I've been doing. Just with the uh, metallic polishes that I've used. Oh, that one. And that one, I used some of the Dina Wakely gloss sprays. But I didn't spray it on, I just dripped a little bit out of the bottle. But it's uh, with it being porous, it, it, it did soak a lot of it up, it seemed to do. So I thought, well, I'm not wasting that on it. Oh, no, it wasn't that one, it was that one. That one and that one. And then just went over it with the shimmer. But look at that one. Oh, I love these cosmic shimmers. The day that I don't mention what they are, somebody's going to say, what are they? <laughs> Creative Expressions Opal Polishes by Cosmic Shimmer. And they're just, they're just, oh, I love them so much. I've just put all different colours on that one. Love them. And then there was these. I've had a job with these because I've got some little letter stamps. But I've had a job putting colour in the middle of them. I've done them before and I can't remember how I got the colour in the middle. But anyway, I've done it with um, a Posca pen and a very fine paintbrush. 
but they was a bit fiddly to do. So that is those. I've just got those. I should finish those off when I've finished this video. What next? Right, yesterday I hadn't intended doing this, but I was... I'll tell you what I was doing. I was searching for that. Tyvek suit you know I made some of the Tyvek flowers the other day well I was and I said oh, I don't know where the suit is that I'd used searching for that found it thankfully but while I was searching for that I had to pull my tray off uh, not tray my trolley where I've got like wooden stamps and that sort of thing in but I've got loads of stuff on top of there and I came across you know how you get sidetracked, don't you? Came across this stamp. It wasn't four ninety nine. It was a pound uh, that I got from the same place as I got those, the craft store outlet at Spalding. And that it's um, Stampington Company. I couldn't believe it that they were so cheap and they had loads in. Oh, another one there. Look. Yeah, pound twelve ninety nine. Would anybody pay twelve ninety nine? I wouldn't. But anyway, you pay a pound, don't you? So I got I thought, oh, and I'd never used it. I thought I've never used that. So again, got a bit sidetracked. What can I do? I know what I'll do. I'll put it on a piece of card. So this I've muffed it up a bit there. Never mind. Um this the background was what i'd done the other week with the little distressing pads not the oxide there might be oxide in there somewhere but it was the little pads i just loved doing that on glossy photo card blah, 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 blah. so i just stamped it on there with black pigment ink and then went over it because i've run out of black embossing powder I want to try and get some at the weekend uh, but I use clear I like using clear so I stamped that there and I thought well that just I don't know uh, so then I got my script stamp and went over it my script stamp and I thought well she just looks like she's well, I mean no it's a teapot <laughs> she's got a little teapot lid there look so I tried to do like, um, you know, something for her to stand on, but that didn't go very well. But it's all right. And then I thought, oh, well, Tracy's been using like really bright card to um, layer it with, matte and layer it with. So I would got this piece of green, so I just put it on there and then I put it on black card. And then I've got that little word that again I got from that place ages ago. And I quite like that. I might stick something there. I might make some more Tyvek flowers. We'll see if I've got a flower and stick something there. I don't know. But I just feel because that's it's got the embossing powder on. I might just stick something there. So that was that one. And then I got, um, again, when I was using, this was the, when I was using Distress, Distress Oxides. I haven't done a, a video, demonstrating video. No, I didn't. I just played with them and then showed you. But there was a piece of paper. It was just a mop-up sheet. And so I stamped the same image. That one didn't stamp as well. But I just loved the background. It was really quite grungy looking and I stuck it to some orange card that I didn't really like but it was just enough to stick it onto. And so I went over the back then with um, the sh these shimmer things. And what I like as well is because I don't clean because I don't clean these they're quite stiff so it, it doesn't like it hasn't filled it all in it's just like scratches over the top of it but I've used all different colors on there and I like that now yes so uh, for this one I've put leave your fear behind because I think we all need to do that we all get especially anybody that's new to craft and you think oh now I'm frightened I can't do that you know blah 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 no just leave it behind you um 
Yeah, so I, I really like this. <coughs> Excuse me, apart from the fact that I have had it under books, but it still wants to curl, but never mind, eh? And the other day when I was doing these flowers that I showed you, Tyvek flowers, I said I was going to come on and do another video, which I haven't done yet, using the Bombay inks. So, of course, when I finished filming, I thought, I'll just have a go with Bombay inks because I've got a piece of the Tyvek left. So I did these two. I used a blue and a, a pinky colour and I just love them. I, I did cut out bigger pieces so these are slightly bigger but I just absolutely love them. And in that video, I'll leave the link to it if I remember in case you wonder what I'm talking about. In that video, I said that I believed that I'd seen somebody put all three pieces together and then put the brad in and then melt it. Well, I wasn't doing that. I was doing them separately. But for these, I did that. I thought, well, if I don't try, I'm not going to know. Uh, so I did... I tried it and I really love them and then I thought well I always go for blues and pinks and purples so we'll do an orange and a yellow one so that was that one and I've just squashed that one down and I thought well I need some bits of it's really pretty I think it's so lovely um, wanted some bits of blue and green and pink on it so again I just used these shimmer polishes and then I've got all this lovely yarn. This one is what I got from Carboot, I think, or a charity shop. And then this one is what my lovely friend Linda Pitt, oh, Linda, what Linda sent me. So thank you, Linda. And I've just put some of those and made a long tassel. I love it. Love, love, love those. Ah, uh, right, so that's that. Have we got anything else? Let's have a look. Da, da, da. Oh, I think that's it. I thought there was something else I was going to tell you or show you. Word started that. Oh, no, hang on a minute. Look, and there's these bits. <laughs> this was off of the cuff of the oh nice bracelet look off the cuff of the Tyvek suit I am going to come on and do another Tyvek video because I enjoyed that so I thought oh I'll just paint that up and then this piece was the seam of the, of the arm I'd cut this off first so I painted that and I actually put I can't show you because they're in the drawer and it'll wobble it but it's the um I think I used, oh, I don't know whether I used, I can't think what I'm trying to say, what ink I used to start with, whether it was the, oh, brain, anyway, whatever I'd used, I then went over it with uh, Jacquard Lumiere's green and purple and pink but there's another colour underneath and I thought I'm not throwing that out that's just pretty I mean that could go on something and I could even like curl it up and make a flower with that in fact I think I'm going to do that not now because I haven't think I'd need my hot glue gun probably to stick it down am I actually recording oh yes I've been sat down to craft today to paint these because I, you know, I always stand up when I'm doing my videos. I'm always standing up and I always stand up to craft and I've got, oh, I could have cried yesterday. My neck and my shoulders. I have really bad posture and a humpy neck anyway. <laughs> um, but I could just have cried. I was in so much pain and I won't, I won't take medication. <laughs> I was telling Mr Doodle, I said, oh, I'm going to the doctors, what will they do? All they'll do is say, oh, well, try this drug, try that drug, and you'll need to try this drug to counterbalance that drug, because that drug will make your stomach bad, so you'll need another drug to sort that. No, 
not doing it. I'll just, I'll just put up with the pain and whinge. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's just my bad posture basically. It's just how I'm made and it's just hurting me. So today I've been, that's pretty isn't it? You get a little, a little, sorry I didn't mean to go off on a whingy moment. It's pretty. You can't throw these things out. Put a little bit of bling or something in the middle there. Oh, look. It's pretty. Don't know what. I thought that might go around a little book or something. <coughs> Could do with slapping a bit of the Lumiere paint on. Fabric paint. That's what I was thinking of. The Dynaflow. That's what I'd used. I think. I don't know. I've gone. I've gone. Right, that is it, people. Thank you ever so much for listening to me twaddle on. I've got a cup of coffee there that I'm going to finish. And then... I might have to sort out in a few more drawers. It's great. I've, I've found I've been throwing stuff away, Steph. Can you believe? I've thrown loads of stuff out, bits of scraps of paper I mean I could throw if if I threw the real rubbish out <laughs> then I would probably have a whole set of drawers free but hey little little and often yes so I freed a few drawers up which I'm quite pleased about and I've been putting all my oh, I'll show you just hang on a minute just hang on a minute all my clays and stuff. Oh, I've got another drawer with clay and different bits and bobs. But all of these that I did last year, not all of them, because a lot of them have been used. But these are what I had left. And I'd had them in, in these bags because I've got no drawers. I thought, oh. Well, I've put all my other clay in a drawer and I've got a spare drawer. I'm going to have them. I'll just keep them in the packs and have them in the drawer. Oh, dear. I thought I was going to cry. I don't know how anybody else stores these, but mine had all stuck together. I'm like, oh, no, it's going to pull all the paint off. And it hasn't. It hasn't pulled a bit off. I, it was mainly on these ones. I don't know whether it's because I hadn't painted the backs of these. But I'd be interested to see, because I know a lot of you have, we all went on a bit of a clay frenzy, didn't we, last year with the moulds and such like. But I'd be interested to know how you store yours. Oh, look at these. How you store yours that you've made up. They're so pretty. I just love them so much. Look. <laughs> and I thought if I had them in here... Because I've got that many bags and boxes and uh, that I just forget what I've got. I think you get to a certain stage, don't you, when you've been crafting for years. And when you're doing lots of different crafts, you have lots of different stuff. And unless you live in a mansion, which we don't, we live in a, a little house. Well, it's not a tiny little house but it's not a big house <laughs> um, no standard size house uh, um, you know you just run out of room oh these are so pretty I, I could just yeah just stand and stroke them they're just so pretty look these are all the cosmic shimmers oh if you haven't got cosmic shimmers or uh, I don't know what other brands do them but the cosmic shimmers they they change color that you know you know when you do that <laughs> they change color and they're just they're just wonderful I love them nobody's paying me to say that I've bought them all myself I'm not on commission <laughs> yeah love anyway i'm going but that's what i've been doing and i'm quite pleased that i've got those in that drawer and i have got another drawer with my wax palettes and stuff in 
<sighs> right. Take care, everyone. Thanks for listening to me twaddle on. And I will speak to you soon. Bye.